Welcome to this week's Travel and Young. And, uh, you know, I guess it was like the end of the summer we did a video about um, music festivals in Denmark yes. because, like, all the music in the summertime when it's gorgeous music. outside so shifts amazing. from inside to outside. Yep. But today we thought we would talk about the inside clubs and music venues. In this case, though, it's in Copenhagen yes. because that's where we live and that's all Sorry. the concerts we've been to. But <laughs> there's such a great music scene and so many great venues to talk about. And so I'm going to show a map of all of them and where they are in Copenhagen. So and so if you're visiting Copenhagen or if you live in Copenhagen and you want to find a place to go to a concert, that's what we're going to talk about on this week's Traveling Young. <laughs> Okay, so here's the deal. We actually recorded this already, <laughs> and it was like 20 minutes long. So we're gonna do this again, doing this again, shorter. And I, but I feel like it's just such wasted good stuff. Maybe we should like oh, set up like a know. secret YouTube channel for people that want to just watch the well, that's the, where, like we should get the 20 Patreon. the 20 minute versions yeah. of videos. Because I can tell you at least. Half the videos we make, we do a second time. Because, like, man, that is way too long. That if you want to see the 20-minute version, let us know. Let us know. Maybe we'll, we'll find it. a secret place we'll to, post a way it. to post it. So instead of going through all of the music venues, which is what we did in the 20-minute version. Maybe you could put it in the description. I can put them in the description. We're going to instead tell you our five favorite music yes. venues, venues in Denmark. <clears throat> and I definitely want to mention Bands in Town, which I'm pretty sure I didn't do in the intro, but that was like 30 minutes no, ago. No, you did. You totally talked about Bands in and Town. And did I do it in the intro or did I, I do it in... I don't remember. Okay, so I might be repetitive. Again, this was like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Bands in Town is an app that you need to get if you're really into music because what it yep. does is it looks at your Spotify, your Apple playlist, whatever you use to listen to music, and it then, uh, based on a zip code or where you're at in a city you can put in, it'll tell you where those people are playing. And I use that to find concerts all the time when I'm on the road or and, when I'm here in Copenhagen. And I have to say how dedicated uh, we are to seeing music. We actually have a Google calendar that's specifically for concerts. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just we used so we to can go keep to a track lot more. of yeah. what concerts we're going to. But that said, we're going to tell you okay. our top our top five favorite venues in Copenhagen. Yes. From smallest in terms of size to biggest. Largest. So it's not in that. So it's in size order, not preference order. Yes. Yes. Size S order. Smallest in our top five. Hotel Cecil, which fits about so, 350 people. Good. This is our favorite, uh, not just because it's a great music venue, but also they have an incredible bar with fabulous cocktails. So you can go there and get a drink, even if you're not going to see a concert, but you should absolutely go. They have fabulous stuff and the music is always really good. And they have very like eclectic, variety, yeah. you know, people who come. It's all very different. It's we've, not one kind of music. We've gone to see our style. Yeah. We saw Brent Cobb yeah. there. We saw Trampled by Turtles there. Mm. We've seen, I'm sure, more people that I can't remember off the top of my head Zach there. Lo Zach Logan, well, who we did a video for, with. Yep. For, yeah, he opened for uh, Brent, Brent Cobb. Cobb. But it's, yeah, it's, and it's right next to the you know the main pedestrian road. So you can just yep. scooch off and get a drink if you want, even if you're not going to a yeah, show. Nice. Hotel Cecil. Highly recommend. And one thing I think, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the 20-minute version, is um, <laughs> when we were starting at YouTube, I wanted to relate our growth to venue, music venues because I like, there's a lot of things around, I think that similarities as a music artist and being like a, a YouTuber or something because you have to get an audience and attract yeah. people and find things. It's very, and then you have to like be loyal and have mm. people that are loyal to you in order to be successful. So I think the similarities made me think, hey, when, you know, I kind of like when we, we get new subscribers, how can we fill... How, how, what kind of space could we yeah. fill if we did a gig exactly. at one of these places? So we'll talk about that as we go. But I remember being excited when I'm like, well, we can fill out Hotel Cecil. Oh, nice. Number two or yeah. in size is a part of DR Concert Husel, yep. which there's two. There's the, well, there might be more than that. There's the big one, but specifically Studio 2, which is downstairs. It's like a cube that I think they use for recording stuff yeah but it's occasionally, a really interesting venue yeah but it, there's a good bar a good outside way. but there's occasionally bands and so yeah. we saw anderson, anderson east, east there who went to the same university that we went to not yeah. at the same time no um and we saw magpie the magpie salute, salute. yeah um one of the uh, members of uh chris robinson and david robinson mm. i think is mm -hmm. was his name brothers that were in whatever the i don't remember i can remember the name of the band all of a sudden <laughs> the black crows <laughs> oh yes um and Aaron Ray recently we saw yep. there. It's super cool venue. Very great. But also the big one upstairs is nice. 
Next on the list, Amabio. Amabio. I love Amabio. Now, Amabio used to be, it's on Ama, so it's a bit of a pain for us. To, or we, we, it used to be a bit of a pain. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to Amabio. But now we've seen enough places there. I love going there. We've seen Tadeshi Truck Band. We've seen uh, Gary Clark Jr. We've seen, uh, we just saw Sue Men in them was the last time we went. Uh, Tammy Nielsen we saw. Mm, Lake Street Dive. Lake Street Dive was fabulous. And it, it's just a great venue. It always has the best vibe. Like everybody's having a good time. And I just love going there. And it's it's uh, it was remodeled like right when we were moving here or something. Yeah. I've been told, so I've been told, yeah. and uh, and it's funny because like there's tons of places we go see concerts in Chicago before mm. we moved here, and if you're there long enough when they like flip the lights on, you're like, don't, you don't no. want to be there. I wish there. I didn't see what this looked like when it was fully <laughs> lit. Amabio is super slick, yeah. nice, well kept. Really nice. It looks even nice when all the lights are on, it does. not just when it it's does. dark when people are playing. <laughs> that fits around a thousand people, by the way. Yeah. Um, next on our latest list would be like the collection of Vegas because there's so many Vegas. There's Ideal Bar, which is small. Yeah. Then there's Little Vega. Then there's Soul Vega. Vega, and that is we've been to. I think that's where we've been the most. Yeah, we we Store go. Vega. I mean, I, I think pre COVID we were were there all the time. Uh, every couple months, yeah. we've been there once recently to see Jason Isbell. Yes, but we saw oh, Gregory Allen Isakoff. Yep. That poster over there I got at Vega. And I've seen Rival Sons there. We even went to a concert there when we first came to, to look at a house. Uh, did. He, you looked on Bands in Town and, and you're like, like, oh, hey, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Rateliff, Rateliff in the night. night they're going to be here. We're going to go. We got to go. They were supposed to be in Amabio and then it got canceled because of COVID. But yeah. Um, yeah. And so we came. That was like in a week when we were here looking for houses, we went to a show there. Uh, and and we were like, this is great. Yeah. I love the like old... <laughs> Old it's vibe, like mid-century modern it's vibe. So cool. Yeah, it's like a very mod vibe yeah. to it. And, I really like and it. And all the venues are nice and have charm in their own way. Yeah. And it is one of my favorite places to go. It makes me happy when I'm... Yeah, when I'm, I mean, and, it's super cool walking up and you like see it kind of appear out of nowhere. And, and it's just it, really cool. And for you to know, we're going to see... We're going to see Macklemore there. Yes. I think it's in June. So if you're going to see Macklemore, come say hi because <laughs> we will be there. So the yes. last one on the list, I'm making sure we got them all here. Yeah. One, we have two, so many. three, four, five. Yeah. The last one on the five is Royal Arena. Oh, it's not Royal my Arena. favorite, but the thing is, like Sometimes you have to go. That's like where people are. So, yeah. Like we saw Queen there, which was absolutely fabulous. Maya and I went and saw Michael Bublé, which you were very yeah. glad to We see saw the national thing. there. Yep. Yeah. And we're gonna see Elton John there. In the summer. And uh, sometimes you got to just say, cough up the Royal Arena yeah. prices. I was looking at those tickets recently and how much we paid. I'm like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Royal Arena prices, man. It's like oh, no. once a year, maybe I'll go to a show there. Elton John, I yeah, guess he's worth it. But Elton there's John. some I'd like to see. Like and it's Queen. Like how do you not go uh, see Queen? It's tough because there's fan. people I would like to see there, but I'm just not always interested in spending like a thousand krona on it. Yeah, concert. but I will say, I am a huge Queen fan, and I was not going to miss that. And Maya also loves Queen, and we just well, like I said, the once time. a year. So good. Once a year. Yeah. And Elton John, we paid for what feels like 15 years ago, <laughs> thanks to the pandemic. So <laughs> that was, was so in the past. Thanks to inflation, back, I guess, we're like... It was the year he released Captain Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's been that long. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it was when Lion King came out. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and so Royal Arena, and then there's an honorable mention because we really love this venue in Malmo yeah. called Folka Rock. Um, it's there, like our oh, style. Wow. It, it's not very big, but if you can ever see a show there, it's super cool. The nice people that run it are super nice. Yeah, and like by day, it's a little cafe and record store. And by night they convert it into a music venue. Yeah. And Andrew Combs, who's one of our favorites, He's Maya and I sang one of his songs together recently on here. He, he typically, doesn't always, but typically plays in Malmo when he's yep. around. So we've seen him there multiple times. Actually, a lot of people play. They'll, they'll end up skipping over Copenhagen. Yeah, because what happens Malmo. is some people do a bunch of shows in other spots of Sweden and then just do Malmo instead yeah. of Copenhagen. So, so we close. go across the bridge sometimes just to see a show because it's, if not, I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> see, yeah, yeah. Rarely do people do both Malmo and Copenhagen. Yeah. And if they do, it's <laughs> typically like different legs of like they'll do one of them and then go up to Norway yeah, and, blah, blah, exactly. and they come back and do the other when they're swinging back down to Germany or something because um, you typically have to go through Copenhagen anyway to yeah. get to uh, Hamburg and those places exactly. which are usually on the run so anyway Malmo is an honorable mention so if there's a place 
I mean, there's a bunch of other there's places. There's a bunch of places. I think you should list them all. Let me just in the save them all. Yeah, I'm just going to save them quickly oh that are on, on the 20 minute list. version of this video. It's a long we list. talked about Mojo Blues Bar. We talked about Ideal Bar. We talked about Lopin, Little Vega, Pumple Hustle. Pumple Hustle. Yeah. The Grow Hall. Grow Hall. The Grow Hall. Yeah. yeah. Which we haven't been to, but we had tickets yeah. and we couldn't go. There you go. Uh, Hussle. Hussle, yeah. Falconer, which we may oh, yeah. see the Lumineers oh, there yeah. um, later. Tap KB. One, where we saw First Aid Kit. Yeah. KB Holland. KB Holland, yes. Uh, where we saw Greta Van Fleet. Yeah. Um, Forum, we've never been to, but mm. I would love to go there sometime. And Parkin, where we'll see Bruce Springsteen Bruce. in the summer. And of course, Tivoli, which has cool Friday shows. Yes. Um, so let us know if you've got a great story about one of these places or what your favorite venue is in Copenhagen. We haven't been to enough shows outside of Copenhagen, but that I think is going to happen more yeah. now that shows are starting to happen. There's some cool stuff. And I actually, think in, if you know uh, of good venues um, in other cities like yeah. Aarhus or maybe Alvord, let us know. Let us know. Maybe we'll go to a show now that we'll, we can do we this. We will check yeah. bands in town and see what's there. Absolutely. All right. Don McLean was actually in Arhus had, oh, you know who was in Arhus? What? You know, uh, Tower of Power was there, but then we didn't oh, go. Oh, man, Tower of Power. Uh, but they were also in Amabio. Yeah. But we didn't go to either. No. Because we've seen them like a bunch of times. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're going <laughs> to, I can just keep going and I'm going to stop. That's it. Music <laughs> venues. Tell us your favorite. And if you didn't see our video when we talked about music festivals, watch that. Watch that. But we're going to say goodbye. That's it. Bye. See you on the shorter version of this video. <laughs> I'm <laughs> traveling <laughs> <laughs>